So 
myself saying this, so knock on wood, everyone. Um, Steve. 
deal. We don't have anything. Like, our children. <laughs> and I was like, trust they'll bring them back. So I was joking, but he was like, honestly, I don't know. He, he's like, I gotta think about it. And I was like, you know, he's like, think about living in, um, like, the bad parts of Chicago or the bad parts of New York. And I was like, is that what this would be like? And he's like, no. <laughs> but he's like, it, I just, he's like, it's not ideal and I just have to think about it. And I'm like, it's all right if you really are thinking, if you automatically aren't like, yeah, I want this place, then I don't want to get it. Because I want this to be like a, a place we stay in for a long time. And I don't ever want it to feel like he doesn't feel comfortable in our home. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I'm sure it does. So, yeah. I was like, we're going to roll that one out. That's okay. And instead, I found this one. Or he found this one, actually. Because he's doing really well in finding places that I'm like, yes, I want that. So he found this house. And it's honestly...
themselves out with a shovel, clearing off their driveway. I don't know if you guys can hear that like scraping sound or not. Whoa, I got a little crazy with that. I don't know, but it's annoying.
it does all right. It's not my favorite. My favorite mascara is still hands down the Lash Princess. This is my favorite mascara of all time. False Lash Effect. It's like $4.99. I love this stuff. But I've been using this lately because I use a lot of false eyelashes. When I put this on and I get in the shower um, at the end of the day, I can just literally pull the mascara right off my lashes. It doesn't pull them out. It just pulls the mascara off like fibers. And I love that. Whereas this stuff, like, there's black all around my eyes at the end. And I get out of the shower only up to, to do it like a makeup removing wipe. Or I have to remove it before I get in the shower. So. neighborhood that we lived in. I mean, we got like hundreds of trick-or-treaters. 
training. Yes, she's four. She started late and no, I don't care. Um, because I feel like kids just will do it when they want to do it and that was very much her attitude about it. She was like, I'm not doing it. And so finally when we came over here and she saw her cousins going to the toilet, she was like, and I, I got this different toilet. I didn't get the ones that you sit on the floor and then you have to like clean up afterward. I got a ladder toilet that she could just climb up to the toilet herself and go when she was ready. World of difference, my friends. Like, and I was just like really adamant about like, nope, we're starting, that's it. If you go in the body, you get a candy and that's it. That's kind of how it worked. And that same night she climbed right up on it, went to the bathroom, I mean everything, she did everything herself. Unlike, I couldn't have been proud, I was just so proud of her. And she was so excited to get a candy at the end, but see, we started that at the end of September. So she was starting to get candy for going to the body at the end of September. And because she kept doing it and she got to the point where she realized I get a candy if I go to the body so I have to go to the body and then two hours later I have to go to the body and it was like she was like on it because she wanted candy so because we did that we were like it just seemed like she was getting like two to three little pieces of candy a day and I was like we're not doing the Halloween thing She's already been, like, destroying buckets of Halloween candy because of this body training thing. And because I have the other two that see Sissy getting candy, they're like, I want candy. So, and I mean, we're not giving them these, like, massive candy bars or anything. It's just these little candies or, like, a couple gummy bears or, um, or a couple, like, little pieces of chocolate and, um, and that was kind of how we did that, but because the boys saw her getting candy, they wanted some. So they didn't miss out on Halloween treats by any means. And my daughter is like obsessed with Encanto right now. So for Christmas, I got her. And I know Christmas is away, always away, but it'll be what she what she wears for Halloween. I'm just gonna use this mix. I wrote down a whole list of things that I wanted to talk to you guys.
tour and then I'm gonna do like our permanent house tour once we find the house we're moving into. Let's hope that's the one we're looking at tomorrow. I'm so excited for it. I can't wait. It's so pretty. Um, but we'll see how things go and I will keep you guys posted. I have a whole PayPal story to tell you guys. Oh, so frustrating. I have lots of stories to tell you so I've got lots of whisper rambles coming up. I want to do a few makeup videos. Maybe like a holiday look on you. How do you feel about that? Yeah. I'm game. If there's specific stuff that you guys want to see from me and it's not too crazy, please, please, please feel free to leave it in the comments. If you made it this far, leave a little lipstick emoji or 